Navigating airport security can be a daunting task on a good day. Add to that a child and it can be downright scary. When that child is one and you're flying alone, you've reached nightmare proportions. Despite how you feel about them, the TSA are a necessary component of air travel, but a little pre-planning can save you a lot of aggravation when it comes time to fly. One of the first things to consider when packing for a trip is your carry-on luggage. Normally you're allowed two bags, one in the overhead and one under the seat in front of you. But just remember, you're gonna have a squirming child, a car seat, and a diaper bag to handle, so that extra carry-on bag may be a little too much. For carry-on, focus on only the essentials, only what you need to get from home to your destination. Diapers, wipes, food, some toys, a change of clothes. It's a good idea to keep your other personal items, wallet, iPod, etc., in a small pouch in the bag for easy access. Make sure you keep your bag closed, because with all that stuff in it, you certainly don't want to lose it. If the plane is full, check your car seat at the gate. That way you know it makes the plane and you'll have it when you get there to get from the airport to wherever it is that you're going. The less stuff you have makes for a far more enjoyable flight. Baby foods, breast milk, and medicines do not fall under the TSA's three ounce rule and should not be sent through the x-ray machine, but they are subject to security screening through other means. The uh, baby food and uh, baby milk is uh, an exception to the 311 rule. One of the most important things you can do, though, is declare it to the officer, let him know you're coming through the checkpoint with a child and you've got extra liquids, which are baby food. Once you're packed and at the airport, hopefully you've dressed for the occasion. Look at what you're wearing. Uh, you know, it would probably be a good idea to leave the Texas belt buckle behind this time. And what goes for you goes for Junior as well. They need to have their jacket and shoes off and no metallic items on their person. If the toddlers can walk by themselves, if the preference is to let them walk by themselves and the parent follow. Uh, if not, then just pick up the child, carry him, and you both can go through it together. There's been a lot of negative press about TSA in the media. When you see images like this, it's hard not to have animosity towards the system. Just remember the vast majority of TSA officers have the best interest of the flying public at heart. There is no TSA regulation prohibiting videotaping at checkpoints as long as you do not interfere with the screening process or hold up the line. If you feel like you're being mistreated, do your best to document it with video and audio. Very important to communicate to an officer that you would like to do that and then they will work with you to do what they can to allow you that. So as soon as you come to an airport, if there is a problem, ask to speak with a supervisor, ask to speak with a manager, and they will be glad uh, uh, to, to talk to you and resolve. There are a lot of great resources online to check out before you fly with a little one. The most important thing to remember is to remain calm as you go through security. Your child is going to look to you for reactions. So if you have any problems, be sure to address them with the TSA supervisor on the spot. It's also a good idea to update yourself on any other procedural changes by going to the TSA website. Good luck and have a safe trip. Thank you.